Well, well, well. So, today we're going to talk about another animals that live where in desert, okay? So, we're going first to look at the pictures, then to know some of these animals' characteristics, okay? So, let's look first at the first picture here on. Look at this mouse. Oh, you are for the first look. You're going to say that this is a mouse, but it's called gerbo, okay? So again, it's gerbo, gerbo. So the first thing you're going to say, oh, teacher, it has what? It has long tail long tail that's it thank you and it has it's not clear for us but it's written here next here it's written that it has what long legs to keep its body away from hot sand aha uh -huh. so it has what long legs to keep its body away from hot sand so here we have another animal lives where? In desert. It's called what? Fennec fox. Fennec fox. Okay. It's written here. Fennec fox. So for the first one, sorry, once you look at the first, you're going to say what? Oh, teacher, it has large ears it has large ears look this fox has what large ears so these large ears help it stay what to hear animal help it hear animals and catch them and it's written here that large animals sorry large ears help it stay cool and it what it has or it helps it to hear and catch animals okay so also it has what it has what is this fur fur do you remember once we talked about the animals and their characters and their skin. If it's, if the mammals, do you remember the mammals? Once we talked about the cover of their, what, of their bodies. Fur, fur, it has what? It has thick fur, thick fur, okay? So this is the main characteristics characteristics of both of them so let's start reading some information about the gerbil sahara and gobi deserts africa and asia so here the writer is or Telling us is telling us where does it live? Where does it live? So you're going to say Sahara and Gobi Desert. It lives in Sahara and Gobi Deserts, Africa and Asia. Okay, in which continents? Africa and Asia. Africa and Asia. So, so where does it live? They are, or they live where in Sahara and Gobi deserts. In which continents? The first one is Africa. And the second one is what? Asia, okay? So, 
Let's keep reading. Uh huh. Sleeps underground during day. Sleep underground during day. Closes tunnels with mud to keep out hot air. So, where does it sleep? Where does it sleep? It sleeps underground. Oh, teacher, what do we mean? What does it mean underground? What does it mean? It means what? Below the surface. Below the surface. So, underground means below the surface. Below the surface of the earth. So, let's write next to the word here. Under ground, it means what? Below the surface of the earth. So this is the meaning of underground. Aha, uh -huh. let's get back. Aha, uh -huh. so they or it sleeps where? Underground during day. What's the meaning of day? It's opposite of the word night. Opposite of the word night. Day and night. Day and night, okay? So day, it's opposite of the word night. It closes tunnel with mud to keep out hot air. So, teacher, what do we mean with the word tunnel and mud? Oh, tunnel, tunnel. So, tunnel means what? Long passage under the ground. Long passage under the ground. So, he, or sorry, it, the what? The gerbil closes tunnels under the ground. Closes tunnels under the ground with what? With mud. So tunnel, it's like a passage. Passage through, through what? Through the ground. Through the ground. It's a long passage under the ground. So let's write it here next to the, the word. Tunnel. A long passage under the ground. That's it. So, let's write it again, here on. Tunnel, a long passage under the Round. So this is the meaning of tunnel. Mud with mud. So the gerbil use what? 
use mud to keep out hot air to close he or it use mud to close the tunnel okay so mud it's what mud is earth that has been mixed with water earth that have mixed with water so and the second here point it eats leaves roots and insects at night so what does it eat what does it eat it eats leaves leaves roots and insects leaves roots and insects at night it's too does not drink water does not drink water so please focus on the pronunciation of the word water 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 so this is the american accent water water you can say water water and wa wa or wota 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 the british accent okay so all of them are correct whether you say wa wota water all of them are acceptable okay so let's get back it does not drink water gets enough moisture from its food aha uh -huh. so gerbo does not drink water it just have or get enough moisture moisture it's a new word so it's a new word am i right am i right moisture is a new word moisture is a new word and it means what very small drops of water very small drops of water guys i already have written for you the new words with their meaning in a word file okay so inshallah i'm going to send it to you via whatsapp right now focus with me so it what it gets enough moisture moisture means a small drops of water a small drop of water of water either in the air or in the surface so it still has long legs so look here look here it has what long legs to keep its body uh -huh, away from hot sand so here here you see the sand and his long legs helps it to keep its body away from the hot sand it hops like a kangaroo on its long back legs so that's it about gerbil let's go to the fennec fox fennec fox where does it live where does it live it lives where sahara in sahara desert africa in which continent in africa okay in which continent in africa it sleep underground during day so where does it sleep where does it sleep 
It sleeps underground. Underground. It's like what? Like whom? Like gerbil. Fennec, fox. It's like gerbil. They are both sleeps underground during day. Okay? So this is one of the similarities. Okay? One of the similarities between both of them. One of the similarities between both of them. They both sleeps underground during day. The fennec fox eats gerbils, lizards, and insects at night. Large ears help it hear and catch the animals. Aha, so what does it eat? What does it eat? It eats gerbas. Mmm. So the fennec fox eats what? Eats gerbas. It eats. eats gerbils okay so it so it eats gerbils lizards and insects at night so there is a uh, one difference here in what in the food they eat in the food they eat So, gerbil eat, eats leaves, roots, and insects. The fox here eats gerbils, lizard, and insects. So, both eats what? Both has one similarity here, insects. Insects, okay? So, they are both leaves underground. And they are both eat insects, okay? So, here another difference. It has what? It has large ears. Large ears to keep itself cool and to hear other animals and catch them, to eat them. So, and it's to, it's to what? Does not drink water like whom? The gerbil, it does not drink water. It gets just enough moisture from its food. So this is very important to know that the both animals, they does not drink, they do not drink water. They just get enough moisture from their food, okay? And we said at the beginning that it, large it has large and large ears to help it stay cool and thick fur under feet helps it walk on hot sand uh-huh and that's it i want you to to look here we have some wait a minute To write here, we have some questions. I want you to, on your, on your writing notebook, to write these questions and answer them. I don't want you just to answer them like question and answer under it. I want you to write a simple paragraph about each one, about the gerbil and about the fennec fox. And as it's written here above, how are they alike and how are they different? So you can write like this, a chart to write the similarities, both here the similarities and 
the differ differences here and here, okay? So that's it for today. Thank you for watching my lesson for today. Goodbye.